Hello and welcome to this tips and tricks video for Zoom Text 10. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can create your own custom color scheme in Zoom Text. There are a number of preset color schemes available that many people find very helpful, such as the reverse video and black and white color schemes. But for a lot of people, their particular eye condition warrants a different color combination. Luckily, you can create your own custom color scheme in Zoom Text. Let's give it a shot. Click on the color icon and choose Settings. Then choose the Custom Radio button. In the Effect drop down menu, we can choose from a number of different custom color filtering options, such as black and white, reverse video, dyed, and two color. You can even choose to replace or remove colors that are problematic for your eyes. Today, Let's walk through creating a custom two color scheme. The default foreground and background colors will be set to black on white. And for the sake of an example, let's choose dark blue as our foreground color and yellow as our background color. You can see that the entire screen is now displayed using this color combination. Note that you can also choose your own custom color by clicking on the more colors option in the drop down. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you've chosen some colors that make it difficult to read anything on screen, you can always press the escape key and your settings will return to whatever you had them set to previously. Now back to our dark blue and yellow scheme. Once you find a combination that works for you, you can optimize the brightness and contrast on screen using the two slide bars to the right of the color options. Increasing the brightness slider will make the image appear softer and more washed out while decreasing it will make it dimmer. For this scheme, I'll leave it right in the middle. The contrast slide bar will decrease the difference in contrast between colors as you move the slide bar to the left and increase the difference in contrast as you move it to the right. Move it too far to the right and you'll start to lose detail of some colors on screen. I'm going to drag the slide bar to the left a couple notches to improve the image for my eyes. If you're using a zoom window like overlay or lens, you can even choose to apply the color filter just to the zoom window or background window. When you're finished, simply click the OK button and now your custom scheme will be turned on whenever you choose the custom option under the color icon. Don't forget to go to the file menu and choose save as default before you exit zoom text so that this setting will come up each time you launch Zoom Text. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check our blog for more tips and tricks videos in the future.